Okay, guys, in the mail, I just received my new LG Voyager in titanium. Um, it is a direct replacement to my old LG Voyager in black, which um, the internal screen on it busted. And um, I did get a replacement from Assurin, which was another LG Voyager in black, but it was a rebuilt phone, or refurbished in that matter. Um, this phone has had some uh, technical issues as far as in the touchscreen not wanting to respond sometimes, or not at all. And um, the earpiece right here um, just had extremely bad um, quality as far as sound. And I'm sorry guys, right now I'm having this whole little cold thing. So excuse me if I sniffle a little bit, but um, I mean other than that the phone's okay, but I don't really accept that the touchscreen on the front doesn't work because I paid fifty dollars to get a brand new or good phone that worked completely and I didn't get that. So in that matter, they sent me a brand new in the box LG Voyager in titanium, and well, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. As you can see, there's the front of it, and then the side that shows what the package contains right there. Um, hearing aid compatibility and copyrights and all. Um, the back of it, and the other side that just says Voyager. The top with the ESN numbers and everything, and the bottom with all the logos and stuff that needs to go down there. So you can open the box right here. As you can see, there's a phone on the inside, and then it says Voyager on the other side. Um, just like my last video, the CD fell out. <laughs> the CD is, uh, it has Bcast Music with Rhapsody on it. It requires Windows XP or Vista. I, I don't know if this software is, uh, will work on a Mac or not. And on the inside or back side of the CD case, it just has the installation instructions tells you what to do um, so put that aside and then there's also your tips hints and shortcuts booklets as well as your user guide and then sandwiched in between that and this packaging is um, I guess some other information that you need to know and stuff that you can just keep handy um, in your car or something and on the inside ooh here we go is the LG Voyager in titanium. Let's just pull that out real quick. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. So, and then there's the inside of it. You can see there is a difference in color as far as the keys. You can see the color between the both phones. Um, this one is just way lighter titanium color. Also, note that the keys on Black Voyager are blue, the space keys and all that stuff on the left, as you can see. And the ones on here are orange. And that's the difference between color on the inside and color on the outside. It is pretty obvious. You can see this one's black and this one's titanium. Let's pull this little... There we go. As you can see, there's the... Um, front of the phone with the touch screen and the back right there the 2 megapixel camera on it um let's see here's the battery here's the battery pull that out you can see difference in the battery color so let's insert that battery real quick and there we go. Powered up. <laughs> and as you can see, that's the main screen that with the touch screen. Notice the white interface, uh, very similar to the LG Dare. Um, you can drag the icons around and stuff, as you can see. And so, 
And then on the inside, you have the white interface as well. It's a cleaner look than the LG Voyager black theme, which I'll go ahead and show you while we're at it. Just go to display settings and display themes. And you have the choice from white or black. You can view the white, that's what the white theme looks like. And then you can also view the black theme, which is basically just the same thing as the V09 uh, LG Voyager black theme. That's really the only difference. One's white and one's black. I, the, I prefer the black one on the black LG Voyager and the white one on the titanium. It just looks better because I think it just fits the phones better. Um, so, And then, as you can see on the front, you have your earpiece, the send, end, and clear keys. On the side, you have your uh, camera key, your unlock key for the touch screen the volume controls and on the bottom you have your charger port and on the side a micro SD card slot and then you have also have your um, headset jack on the back you have the 2 megapixel camera the battery slot also under the 2 megapixel camera right here you can lift off this little silver cover and there is a GPS, um, and then there is also an antenna, uh, external antenna ports. So, like if you need to hook up an external antenna for your vehicle or something. So, basically the same exact features. I'm going to go ahead and clear this up right now. I've heard a lot of people um, spat talking the LG Voyager in black. Um, guys, there's no difference between each phone. They're both the same thing they the only difference is just the color this one's titanium this one's black people say that the LG Voyager in titanium is so much hotter or so much better than the LG Voyager in black there's no difference there's no difference between the features of both phones just the only difference is the color now I know that some of the older LG Voyagers have the old software on it that does not have this look to it as you can see if you want that look you can go to ver your nearest Verizon store and you can get the V09 or V11 which is actually the newest update it has uh, bug fixes to the V09 software um, just go to your nearest Verizon wireless store and you can get the V11 update for free free of charge if they try to charge you for it tell them that it is free and just tell them that you've seen it on the internet. It is free. Trust me. I have done this with my previous Voyager phones. And it's free. It only takes about 30 minutes. Sometimes 45 depending on how much stuff you have on your phone. Before you uh, go in and give your phone to them. I recommend removing your SD card. Because one. It can, um, it can really reduce the lengthy time to update it. And two. It can also... Um, prevent people from seeing your pictures just in case um that see they're the exact same phone just different colors that's the only difference so hopefully i've made it clear to you guys that there's no difference between either two of these phones they're the same so as you can see in my last voyager video i'm just gonna go ahead and do a review on the v11 update and just show you what is different between the old Voyager software and the new Voyager software. Um, the really only difference is the GUI. A uh, couple things have been fixed on it, such as sluggish, uh, sluggishness. The um, shortcut menu has been changed to where you can just drag around the icons, as you can see. Let's see. Um. <laughs> You can also just set them to whatever you want. You have a huge list of what you can set. Um, the phone book you can just scroll through, similar to the iPhone. Um, just like here, I have my iPod Touch. It's as close to the iPhone as I'll probably ever get for a while. Mainly because I really don't want AT&T at the moment because I'm stuck with Verizon. Um, which I mean, I'm I like that though. I love Verizon; they're really good. Um, let's see, contacts. 
I really only have like five contacts on my iPod because I really don't use it as a phone. But you can see basically the same scrolling type as the iPod Touch or iPhone. That's just, I. Uh, you can definitely tell that the LG Voyager is a competitor to the iPhone. So, they are similar, trust me. As you can see, it also has a home screen. Well, the iPod Touch or iPhone also has a home screen. Just like it, except heh, the Voyager cannot do this. There's no way, and I doubt it ever will because there's not enough RAM in here. I believe the LG Dare could, maybe could able be do uh, able. Uh, I'm sorry, I messed up. It may be able to do that in the future, or it may already be doing that. I don't know for sure, um, because I don't own one, which I really wish I did. That'd be awesome. Um. You can see you have the menu, you have your calling thing, basically kind of the same as the iPhone. Uh, you can send messages and stuff, and basically have the same thing. Oh, City ID. This is a new thing to the Voyager. It's called City ID. You can just punch in a phone number, and um, it'll tell you where it originates. And also, when someone calls you, it will also tell you where the person that's trying to call you is located. Such as, I can enter the number, let's just say for kicks. Uh, I'm just going to enter a random number. 615, says Tennessee, 441-3008. And it says Dixon, Tennessee. So... That's just how that works. Um, let me think. Visual voicemail. That's something that I was subscribed to, but I don't subscribe to it anymore, mainly because my dad said that I really didn't need it. <laughs> and it was just more on his phone bill. So, I mean, I understand that, and I respect that. So, um... Visual voicemail allows you to manage your voicemail directly from your device. Avoid calling your mailbox, hearing voice instructions, and listening to prior messages. Now you can see your messages and select the ones to listen to and erase. You can even call back, text, and archive important messages from your visual inbox. With visual voicemail, you're in charge. Well, as you can see, that's the video that comes on the LG Voyager. Um, trying to get you to subscribe to visual voicemail. So, I mean, it's actually really cool. If you want to pay $2.99 a month for it extra, I highly recommend you get it. Because, I mean, it's it's better than having to call Star 86. And then if you have any saved voicemails, you have to listen to all of them. And then you have to wait for it to finish yapping and stuff. So, uh, visual voicemail is actually really great. Um, quick, simple, and easy to use. Um, you can just avoid dialing. Uh, star 86 so I really wish I could get it again but I'm not because my dad told me that I really don't need it so I'm not going to keep it um, so other than that there's not really much change other than the GUI as I've already stated um, the web browsers pretty much the same mobile email I do have mobile email on here um, I'm pretty sure plenty of you guys know what I'm talking about when I say mobile email you can just basically see your emails. That's about it. So you can go through here, and it'll alert you when you get a new voice. Um, I'm sorry, a uh, new email. Mm. <sighs> I swear it's cold or whatever's killing me. Um, you can see visual voicemail right there. Calendar. Really, not much changed about that. So let's see, Bluetooth. I'm sure you all know what that is. Uh, let's see what else I have in here. Tools are basically the same. Um, that's really all that's on the LG Voyager. So, it's a great phone. I guess that's all I have to say, guys. So, thank you for watching. <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you the rest of the stuff that's included in the box. Got a little in a hurry there because the my camera was beginning to die. 
Also in the box, you will receive a USB data cable. It comes with it. And your LG home wall charger. And that's just the other stuff that's included with it. So, if you need a USB cable, don't go out and buy one for your phone before you get the Voyager. Because it already comes with one. And it also comes with the USB driver and software. Just wanted to pitch that in real quick so that no one would get sidetracked if they plan to buy the Voyager in Titanium. The Voyager in Titanium is an excellent phone. I've already played with it for a couple hours now. So, um, thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe, and also, if you are a fire alarm enthusiast or a tornado siren enthusiast, visit my new forms, www.davidsonfirealarms.calvinet.com slash forms. Excellent place for you to connect with other users. Um, if you have any questions about anything on there, we have people that can help you out. So, um, so far, 50 members and counting. Thank you, people. And thank you for viewing my videos. I highly appreciate it. Peace. <laughs>